Hi there guys, Josh here from Ahoy World. This is a quick video just showing you how to download and install the add-ons for the EU3 server and also the EU1, 2 and 4, pretty much just the same as well. First of all you want to download and install Armor FreeSync. The link for this will be provided in the description below. Just scroll down, click install, download and install it. Once you've done, you'll have something similar to this, but not quite. First of all, you want to make sure that you've selected the correct executable. Now, I'd recommend using Armor 3 BattleEye. Just go into your Armor 3, scroll along, select BattleEye, open it. You want to put 0, 1 params. I'll put that in the description for you into the additional parameters. Next of all, you want to go to Repositories, click Add, paste in the autoconfig URL, click import and it should come up like this. Once you've done that, click OK. Select notify ticket. This notifies you when the repository has been updated so you'll need to update your mods. Click the connect to repository button. It's the white one with the blue at the bottom. That will connect you in. Then click the green tick to check for add-ons like so. That'll do that. Now you'll see all the add-ons like this. You want to click Select All and then click the Play button which will start downloading the mods for you. Now obviously the repository is around about 10 gigabytes, so this might take some time to do if you're getting the modded one that is at least. Obviously that might take you some time to do, so you'll want to do that before continuing on in the video from here. Once that's done, go to Add-ons click mod sets and then select the Ahoy World modded one and click OK. That'll open something similar to... no it will, it'll open this like so. You'll want to click the tick here, that'll tick all the add-ons so they're all now active to launch. Now you want to install TFIR Radio, now that's the radio plugin that uses TeamSpeak Free. So that for this part you'll want to make sure that your TeamSpeak Free is shut as it might not work if it's open. Go to TFAR Installer. Make sure that you select all of these correct. So TeamSpeak Free Location. This is just where you've got it installed, so like that. And then the plugins is in your Armor Free Install folder. So go into Program Files, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Armor Free. Scroll along to Test Course Radio, then TeamSpeak Free and select Plugins, click Open. Then you want to do the User Config, same location again in your Armor Free Install location. Armor Free, go along to the Task Force Radio into it like so into armor free bit user config open now click proceed and that will install the plugins and user config for task force radio now if that doesn't work there is a manual way to do it i'll show you how to do that now like so you want to browse into where you've got the mods installed so that'll be in your armor free location again now if you've just done what I've just shown you, you don't need to do this part, but sometimes it doesn't work, so you might have to do it manually. And this is how you do it. Copy and paste, copy, sorry, these. You'll then want to go to your TeamSpeak install. Go into plugins and paste them in here. You want to make sure you've got these, the .dlls, they're the important parts. Then once that's done, Go back to your Armor Free install. Go into at Task Force Radio again. Into Armor Free, user config, and copy the Task Force Radio folder. Go back to your Armor Free again. Scroll down. You might already have a folder called user config. If you don't, just create yourself a new one. Go inside of it and paste the Task Force Radio, and it should look something like this. It will be different. It might just be on its own. It might not be. And that's you done that. You can now close that. Go into TeamSpeak now. Go into Settings, Plugins, and tick Task Force Armor Free Radio. You need to make sure that's turned on. If it doesn't display, try clicking Reload All. Now, when you're using Task Force Radio, 
you'll want to make sure that you run TeamSpeak free as an, an administrator. You'll also make sure you run your game as administrator. Sometimes it can cause conflicts not allowing it to work. That's it pretty much done. It's really easy to install and download the mods. It's really made simple by the repository. If you've got any questions or problems, just ask one of us, the field ambassadors on TeamSpeak free, or ask us on the forums or in the comments below. We'll be happy to help. I hope that helps guys, it's really simple to do, um, have fun, I hope you enjoy playing, thanks guys.